What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I have another workflow software video, this time focusing on AI presentations. And so over the years, I've talked here and there about the behind the scenes process, day in life, my favorite Mac apps, as well as productivity workflow, and of course, desk setups, which you guys have seen before. And I've gotten some comments in the past about business questions of how I go ahead and make pitch decks, how to start working with brands, as well as how to develop a workflow for creatives. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make presentations and pitch decks using Gamma App. It is an AI powered platform that harnesses all the amazing elements of AI text generation and content generation, as well as image generation. And it will be able to give you a presentation, document, web page, or deck in a matter of 30 seconds or less. And you don't have to have any experience when it comes to coding, web development, and personally, as someone who started as a content creator first, I never actually had any experience in creating documents and graphics. And I would say that Gamma is sort of like the marriage between Canva and Notion, which are two platforms that I used before and bringing it all together to be able to let you create what you would like easily. I wanna give a huge thanks to Gamma for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be giving away a Mac mini with a one-year subscription to Gamma app. So if you guys wanna win that, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and also comment down below what type of things you'll be creating with Gamma and on the Mac mini, as well as your Instagram username, and we'll be contacting a winner directly on Instagram in two weeks and pinning the comment down below. So when it comes to creating pitch decks, here are some of the ones that I've had in the past. And I like to create like curated ones of different categories, such as pitch decks for CES, as well as in the car industry, in the home and real estate space, as we try to work with different partners on different projects. And I like to just have an element of curation specific to those categories, but I will say, it does take many hours. And I find that a lot of times I just need something that is quick to be able to convey that message across, talk about the things that we've worked on in the past, as well as what we can bring to the table and examples of how it is going to be visualized. And so with Gamma, I'm able to create these presentations just a lot quicker than I ever was before with the power of AI. You can go to their inspirations tab where they show you different designs that other people have created as well as some idea starters, which I think is a very common thing in AI that is important. And as you go over to templates, this is where I like to spend a lot of time because a lot of times you might have an idea in mind, but once you're able to see what it could look like, that is where you can start working from there. And so with Gamma, you can go ahead and pick a actual like sales and marketing pitch, company fact sheet, quarterly business review, and be able to create a presentation last minute or if you need it really quickly from one of these idea starters. But first, we're gonna go ahead and make a pitch deck and so Let's just go ahead and click on create with AI and you can see it gives me three different options of how to start. The first one is to be able to generate. It can generate from a one line prompt of what you need. So say it is create me a business pitch deck, create me a quarterly business review of financials or create me a one pager summarizing what my company does. In addition to that, you can also create from a notes, outline, or existing content. So for example, if I have like an idea board of a video that I'd like to present into a presentation that is more visualized, or you can also add an import of a file or URL of existing presentations and documents that you want to be able to optimize, customize, or build upon. So for starters, we're gonna go ahead and just go to generate. And from there, I can select the criteria of presentation, web page, document, or social, and I can choose approximately the number of cards. This can always be changed later, but I can choose between a default, traditional, and tall structure as well, and also the language. So let's see, from the example prompts, marketing research on the skincare industry, sales proposal for B2B. Um, in my case, I want to be able to make a social media pitch deck for a car company. So I'll generate the outline and very quickly, you can see it gives me the options of the different slides, generally summarizing what I would like to have in my deck but maybe I want it to be more curated towards social media. Okay, so this looks more like it. 
Um, and I might wanna add things like our video production process, influencer partnership models, successful automotive campaigns, um, experience within the automotive industry is another tab that I'd like to add. And then maybe I want to just be able to uh, modify some of the tabs here. And this is already a perfect basis of where to start. And then the next step is choosing some of the other things such as your themes, your content, and your image source. But first starting with a the theme, I'm just gonna click view more here. Um, and whether I want like a light, light, dark, professional, colorful, or even like maybe a friendly theme where it's just a bit more muted. I can click here and just see which one fits the vibe of the whole pitch the best. Um, I personally like a dark theme, um, to be honest. Or maybe like a luxury theme where gold or bronze is kind of the, the color scheme, but I don't know, maybe something a little bit darker as well. But actually for this one, I think um, chisel works pretty well. So I'm gonna select that theme. And from there, scroll down, I think details per card, medium, detailed. And then from the image source, this is where we can decide whether we use web images, automatically select the best for each image, stock images from Unsplash, which is actually where I get a lot of my wallpapers. Or I think it's most impressive feature is actually being able to access AI regenerative image platforms to create each frame through AI directly from Gamma app. So you can see now it is generating the entire presentation within the span of like 30 seconds. And you can see it generating live one after another. And I think that is super cool. And what's great about this is that you can also train it to kind of improve on certain things as well as change certain things. And I mean, the AI generated images actually look really good. If I wanna go ahead and modify the specific image, I can type something like driving down a windy road with beautiful snowy scenery. And from there, I can enhance the prompt and also scroll between the three different options. And so I feel like people who are really well versed in AI are able to utilize this to their advantage, as well as people who are just getting to learn about AI can also utilize a platform like this to learn how to tell what you want the prompts to do. And then I'm just gonna type to generate that. And then there you can see, I have my image with like the snowy mountains and stuff. And I think actually this is a good generation. So from there, I have the style, light colors, neutrals, brown and beige. But I don't know, I think I kind of want to adapt this to a dark color. And I think that actually looks even better. Um, the way I've set up the car to be a little bit dark at least allows the frame itself to kind of be the star of the show. And then as I'm in the theme right here, I can customize the theme within to actually be a darker color. Um, so let's see, the solid color on the background. Maybe I wanna just go with like a dark gray. And then I might also want to play with the color code a little bit to be maybe a bit more aligned with what I have on my brand media kit. There we have it. And it actually takes all of the manual work out of having to go in and change each little text thing and reformat it each time, which was something that like back in the Photoshop days, I definitely had to do because I didn't really know how to create a deck. But as I take a look at this presentation right here, I mean, it is a really good starting point. And that is the whole point of it. You don't wanna just submit a whole AI presentation as it is. You wanna be able to use the power of AI to then be able to customize your presentation a lot quicker and also a lot more efficiently while not having any experience in design or coding. So maybe in this case, I wanna go ahead and add my own image. So I'll just click to upload. I have my little folder right here with some of the past car work and let me see a horizontal frame I think is going to be the best okay so now I've added my own photo for this frame we have like all the case studies and from there I can actually add my own information so on this slide specifically there is a little AI edit button so I can improve the writing fix the spelling and grammar translate make it longer make it shorter simplify be more specific and I can also change the layout by clicking on the little card styling button on the top 
and that allows me to really play with the type of image backdrop and layout that I would like. And to go ahead and add new cards, just click the prompts on the right side and it'll have blank card, image text, columns, and all this kind of stuff. It gives you a lot of options. And what I also like is if you have like a more technical pitch to make, you can actually go through all of the different charts and add specific information based on that. The smart layouts are also really handy. So see so you have like data and analytics, stats, circle stats, bar charts. Um, personally, I don't usually use these as much, but I love how it is all built in right here. And with AI, you just have to go ahead and input line information and it will generate the visual charts for you. You can also have basic blocks for text, images through all the methods that we've talked about, videos and media that can even embed YouTube videos. So in my case, embedding a YouTube video for this would make a lot of sense. And I love how simple they've kept it. It's all very visually intuitive. And I just love softwares that utilize modern day tech such as AI and the power of that while still making it easy to create. I think the whole intention and philosophy behind Gamma App is to allow you to just focus on your ideas and your imagination and letting it take all of the other tedious guesswork out of you. And say so you wanna add a point to something that they already have. So they have concept development, production, editing, distribution. So in this case, when I take a look at the steps, I need to maybe add an element that says, add concept call and contract to one, as one because I feel like that's like the first step before the actual concept development in this case, but everything else I feel like the basis is already there and then I'll refine each thing. And you can see just like that, it has a set concept call contract, concept development, production and editing and all that kind of stuff. And it actually reformatted it in a way that it feels best because of the new spacing. And so that is example of how the automatic AI element is able to do that. And from there, I can either give it a thumbs up or thumbs down or go back to the original with just one click if I don't feel like it is what I exactly had in mind. I think the choice between having AI generated images is great, but I also like to be able to just grab visuals from say Unsplash that are a little bit more refined, or you can also search the internet to have um, the description, find you some stock images, and you can also pick the license of all images free to use and also free to use commercially because I know sometimes that is important. So as you scroll through, you can see we take the like generative element of it, use that framework, add our own images to be able to have the end result of a beautiful deck for a quick presentation. You can also share it with other team members and work on it collaboratively, which is very important. And then once you're ready to go, just enter the presenter mode, or you can even send a URL over to your client. That way you're not sending like a large file, but you do also have the option of being able to export it out and use um, a PDF file. So having that versatility and the shareability is awesome. So beyond being able to create things effectively, they've actually made it very easy with tools that are built in for actually presenting it as well without having to use any other platform. So now I'm gonna show you guys another method and that is pasting in your text. And here's some of the notes that I made for a video where I'm gonna be comparing some of the best phones of 2025 so far. And I've made a few little bullet points of like what is each phone known for? And these are just like general notes, but from there I can just paste in all this information and ideally if it is slightly organized, it is definitely gonna give you a better end result, but I can choose between a presentation, web page, document or social and the orientation of it. So square stories or portrait. And I'm just gonna hit configure. And from there I can either have the text condensed, preserved, or even have it generate beyond that. But I feel like all the information that I have right here is already pretty condensed. I'm gonna have each card be brief. And then when it comes to AI images, in this case, these are of actual products. So I'm gonna have it set to web images. And I think I would also like for each card to actually have a break. And you can see right here, it is actually divided it into five different cards, one for each device, which is very handy and exactly what I wanted. And from there, I can also add some more cards as well. So once all of this looks good, um, I can also drag and rearrange the order. In this case, that doesn't really matter too much, but I'm just gonna hit continue and 
it's going to give me different theme options depending on what I'm looking for. So I think this one looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and click the generate. And now you can see the actual live generation of each frame is being put together. And it's actually been able to divide all the different features really nicely. And there you go. So discover the future of smartphones, Samsung Galaxy S25. It's listed out those features. Maybe I might've found that everything was a bit too condensed. So I'm going to make it a bit longer. And there we have it. You can see that I've been able to make each card a little bit longer, split it up into five different notes. And so these are gonna be handy for when I make the video talking about these phones. But in this case, like maybe I want to change up the image a little bit. So I'm just gonna simplify that, the S25 Ultra. And you can see here are all the images of the phone and I can pick the one that I believe makes the most sense for this frame. So. I guess, yeah, in the theme of AI, let's go ahead and stick with that. And there you can see this document with a visual summary and formatting of all of the key points of the smartphone was formulated in just a couple minutes and it is now good to go to present, whether it's for my own reference or for general use. When it comes to creating a document based on an existing URL document presentation or web page. Let's see how well this actually works. So I'm just gonna type our company website right here. And from there, I wanna turn the web page into a presentation deck. It's crazy that just from putting my web page here of my company and all the things that we do without any sort of intervention, it has been able to create an eight page slide summarizing pretty much what I have on the homepage of my site. If I wanna go ahead and change that, have it have more frames, again, all of the AI tools allow you to easily kind of play with the actual end result and get it exactly the way that you would like. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video where we talked about how to make pitch decks quickly and easily as a creator or business owner in 2025. And as I said, I was a previous user of Canva and I still use Notion, for example. And so having something like this allows me to just use my imagination, type it in, use my visual assets and all the stuff that we have actually created and are good at creating and display it all in one beautiful place. If you guys found this video helpful and want to see more behind the scenes, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.